What's up y'all? Today I'm going to be trying out one of my favorite foods prepared in a way that I've never had before or even seen before. I'm talking deep fried salmon y'all. I got some right in front of my very eyes and it's pretty mind blowing to be honest. I've randomly found this. There's no other place around here that sells it and so I had to jump on this opportunity. Now like I said salmon is one of my favorite types of foods. At least one of my favorite types of seafoods. Probably, probably top two fishes. Maybe number one. I don't know. But I've had this you know grilled. I've had it smoked. I've had it pan seared i've had it broiled uh, one of my favorite preparations is raw sushi style you know what i'm saying and this is just something completely new to me i've never actually had you know i've had fried fish but usually it's like battered you know fish and chip style never seen this this is kind of like you know maybe like a katsu style um preparation where it's breaded and then deep fried kind of like with a panko bread crumb type of deal so um, this is looking great. I paid like, this is on the cheap too. This is like 15 bucks for a decent amount of salmon right here. I have a piece here in the background as well. And let me show you what that is looking like. So a lot of breading on this and it's very flaky and it's going to be very crispy, I believe. Like when you, when you uh, deep fry something like this, it retains that crispiness basically forever. Now here is the salmon itself. Uh, kind of hard to tell what it is. If, I mean, in person you can pretty much tell, but I've never seen something like this. I mean, if you just saw this from afar, you might be like, damn, that looks weird, man. What is that, like a uncooked chicken nugget raw? You know what I'm saying? But no, this is a uh, salmon. And yeah, usually when you see fried fish, it's usually white inside. I mean, that's what I'm usually, usually used to. I'm seeing kind of like a, a cod, if you will. You know what I mean? But never that uh, pink or salmon color. So this also came with some kind of white sauce. I think it's some kind of tartar sauce, but it's... It's like a soup, man. It's like a super watery. A little bit of wasabi as well. And a couple of lemon wedges. But first, I'm going to try this straight up as it is. No sauce. And then we'll get into the different the different little combinations here. So, going in. Smells good. Yo, <laughs> that was weird. That is weird, bro. I didn't know what to expect, but it wasn't that. I'll be honest with you. Hold on a second. Wow. That is so weird. I'm going to have to try to show you what this is all about, like texture wise. Um, as you can see, it's just falling apart completely in the middle. And I hate to just ruin this piece, but if you just touch it with barely any pressure, it's just completely kind of mushing apart. into a complete it disintegrates upon touch i was expecting a little bit more of a, a flakiness a little bit more of a a tiny little bit of a squeaky bite to it but there's none of that um no bite whatsoever like i said you don't need a mouth to really eat this. I mean, you could really take this in through the nose if you had to. What I'm trying to say is, you know, it is crispy on the outside, but the inside is, I don't know how it's even staying together in this form, honestly. It's one of the biggest mysteries I've ever encountered. Wow. I gotta try it with some of this limo. Oh, snap. Mm -mm. Definitely adds to the flavor of it. The f There's nothing wrong with the flavor at all, though. I mean, it. The taste is on point. It's just the texture that I think would, I mean, it's getting me a little bit. I think it would get a lot of people. I don't know if that's a, just how this place prepares it. Like I said, I've, I've seen zero other places that have this on the menu. So 
maybe there's a reason for it, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's something that has has to do with the salmon itself, you know, the structural makeup. It's just weird, dude. It's like a... <laughs> I can't tell if I like it or not. I mean, I think it'd be one of those things that you'd have to kind of get used to. This is, this is not the texture you think of when you think of fish. I mean, even sushi, right? Like, that texture, I guess it could turn some people off, but it's... Well, I guess it's a little bit subjective, but it's weird. It's not weird to me. It just kind of still got a little bit of a bite, but tender. This is just mush. And it might not look like it, but it's, it's mush. Fish mush. Let me try this with a little bit of the uh, wasabi. Actually, let me use a good amount of it here. Mmm. Yeah. I have so many questions, man. I don't, it's, it's almost one of those things where you're like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be eating this. I know that in Korea, at least, you know, I'm not a sushi expert, but when you go to the store, if you're looking at, you know, salmon, they have different salmon. They have some that are specifically for sushi, for sashimi or whatever, uh, that's supposed to be served raw. And then they have just some that's not supposed to be served that way. I'm assuming this is the type that is not supposed to be, I mean, it's not raw, right? It's, it's fried, but it's got some like, really overcooked to a pulp type of vibes, but also just undercooked vibes as well. Uh, definitely an acquired texture. And I don't know about it, cause like, it's e like eating salmon flavored pudding. Let me try this sauce here. some tartar soup mm. I don't know about this one y'all I would say earlier when I was talking about all the different ways I've had salmon prepared give me any of those over this uh, this is one of those rare occasions that like I said maybe this place is just a little bit fishy doing some fishy business here but I don't know people seem to love it uh, in the few reviews that it did have I just feel like this is one of those foods that Is actually not better deep fried. Oh. What I would say though is, yeah, maybe not the best fish to fry here. I thought this fish dish was gonna be delish, but it ain't really the ish. This is almost one of those things too that it's so kind of rich and kind of greasy that the, you definitely need some of this lemon and i feel like i almost want to put it in kind of like into a piece of white bread just to suck up some of that greasiness and richness or put it like mix it with some rice i feel like that would definitely make it more palatable but see, like, I don't know if it's acid from this lemon. It's just like, it's like a slime, dude. Like when the, when the acid from the lemon is literally dissol dissolving the fish right in front of your very eyes. Yo, that's weird. I thought this was just going to be like a cool, delicious, kind of unique food. But this has turned out to be one of the weirder foods I've ever had in my life. Nevertheless, glad I tried it. Won't be ordering that again. 
extremely small sample size, but you know, let's go with the cod. Let's go with the tilapia, man. If you're someone who isn't phased by textures whatsoever, uh, then go ahead and try this because I think that a lot of people who are more, you know, open to just crazy wild textures that you're not used to, that you would have never imagined in a million years, this might be right up your alley. Anyway, that's about for this, this for this video. I'm skating out of here before it's too late. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.